Good afternoon. Hello, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Hi. Hello. Hello, good afternoon. Oh, I'm so happy. I'm so happy to see the majority, of, well, many of you. Yes. Hello, Jose Ricardo. How are you? Hello, I'm fine. Yeah? Okay, good. How how was your day today? Can you hear me? I am I am day, day rest. Sorry? Day rest. You were you rested? Yes. Ah, okay. Good, good, good. Excellent. That that's that's good to hear. Okay, good. Hello, Melky. Uh, how are you? Hello, how are you? I'm fine. Uh, all right, very good. How was your day? It's nice. My day yeah? is nice. Yeah. Oh. oh, good, good. I'm glad to hear that. What What did you do? What what did you do in your day? Uh, nothing. Uh, I don't I don't do nothing. And I sleep. <laughs> I sleep only, every morning. <laughs> only sleep. Only sleep. Ah. Okay. Relax in my house. That, that that that's good. That that's also that that's also valid. <laughs> Okay, good. Um, hello, Carla. How are you? Hello. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. I'm fine. Yeah. yeah. Good. I'm glad to hear that. Thank you. That. Yeah. How was your day? It it was a relaxing day. It was a relaxing day. Oh, yes. good. Good, good, good. Okay. Did you, did you do anything interesting? Today, no. Not today. Not today. Okay. Okay. Well, it's it's you don't need to do something interesting every day. Just um, as long as uh, you had a good day, that's that's important. Okay. Good. Excellent. And hello. Um. Let me see. Let me see. Brenda. Hello, teacher. How are you? I'm really busy. You're busy? Because, yes, because my daughter is here. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. You're you're taking care of your daughter. Yes. Okay. Okay. I see. I see. Okay. Well, um, good, afternoon. good afternoon. How are you? Yeah, you're fine. Okay. Yes. Good, good. Um, how was your day today? Um este, very good. It was good? You had you had a good day yes. today? Okay, excellent. I'm glad to hear that. Okay, very good. All right, and um, Lucas David? Hello, teacher. Hello, hello. Um, no lo podemos ver. Ah, es que voy manejando, teacher. Solo voy a ver la clase. Oh, ok, ok. Solo que para, para la asistencia sí voy a necesitar que me encienda la cámara. Ok. ¿Está bien? Yes. Ok, okay good, good, good. And speaking about attendance, um, I need to take attendance right now. So, um, you guys can help me. Mm 
Mm -hmm. Okay, just a moment. Okay, so we'll start. Um, Brenda Melissa Linares. I'm here, teacher. Wonderful, thank you very much. Um, and Flor Maria Noyola. Flor Maria Noyola, no, right? And Jose Ricardo Teresón. Jose Ricardo I'm Teresón. Good. Okay, wonderful. Thank you. Um, and Josué Ernesto Campos. Josué Ernesto Campos. Okay. Carla Sofía Nieto. Present. Okay, very good. Lloyd Eunice López. Lloyd Eunice López. Not here. Okay. Uh, Lucas David Hernández. Present teacher. Okay, thank you very much. Um, Luis Eduardo Castaneda. Luis Eduardo Castaneda. Eh, Marcela del Carmen Pozo. Marcela del Carmen Pozo. Marcos Antonio Torres. Marcos Antonio Torres. María Violeta Cañada. María Violeta Cañada. Mario Edgardo Contreras. Mario Edgardo Contreras. Melquia Donías Rivas. Present. Okay, very good. Nuria Marilun Monroy. Nuria Marilun Monroy. Eh, Ricardo Antonio Molina. Ricardo Antonio Molina. Eh, Sandra María Chávez. Sandra María Chávez. William Ernesto Orellana. Present. Wonderful. Thank you very much. Eh, Jensi Liseta Abreu. Jensi Liseta Abreu. Yesenia Patricia Pérez. Yesenia Patricia Pérez. And Jonathan Guillermo Oseguera. Jonathan Guillermo Oseguera. Okay. Bueno, solamente voy a... Um, Vamos a, ¿cómo se llama? Uh, voy a poner un mensajito ahí en el grupo porque veo que aunque muchos se han conectado y les agradezco mucho por eso, eh, lastimosamente veo que también hay muchos que faltan. Entonces voy a, a escribir. Okay. Bueno, ok, ya pasó, entonces ya mandé el mensaje, so we're going to start. Ok, um, bueno, eh, thank you very much, gracias por, por conectarse. Eh, 
es muy, muy importante. Les, les recuerdo de que es muy importante su asistencia a los cursos porque eso es parte también de la, los requisitos para poder um, eh, calificar para continuar con el curso con, y con la beca. Entonces, uh, les agradezco que se hayan conectado. Uh, acuérdense que aunque usted um, por X o Y motivo no se puede conectar a tiempo, eh, aunque sea tarde, pero siempre conéctese, ¿verdad? Porque sí eh, es mejor que usted falte, por ejemplo, um, una hora a que falte las dos horas, ¿verdad? Entonces, um, siempre conéctense, por favor, porque sí, como les decía, eh, es parte de su, um, sus requerimientos para poder Uh, continuar con, con esta beca. Entonces, uh, acuérdense también de que estamos a solo un día más, uh, con, a, además de este, para poder terminar el curso. Entonces, me parece que varios de ustedes ya tienen, si no me equivoco, más de una falta. Entonces, significa de que no podremos ya faltar. Tendremos que estar presentes en, este en, es en esta clase y también la próxima. Por cierto, uh, para como forma de recordatorio, ¿alguien se acuerda cuándo tenemos nuestra próxima clase? Mañana de 3 a 5. The next week, uh, Exacto. Sería el próximo jueves. ¿Ok? Entonces, eh, lo, lo pueden anotar. Es el jueves 22 de junio. ¿Ok? Uh, anótenlo, por favor. Pongan ahí alarmas porque... Eh, no sé si este es un día que ustedes van a salir así un poco desvelados, no lo sé. Y por las dudas, eh, es el último, la última clase y ya no podemos, eh, digamos, perder, perder la clase, ¿verdad? Porque como le digo, si no me equivoco, la mayoría de ustedes ya tiene más de una falta. Entonces ya no podríamos perder la uh, clase. Así que pongan ahí todas las alarmas necesarias, si tienen que ponerse tres, cuatro, cinco alarmas, pónganla, hagan de caso que van a trabajar, ¿verdad? Eh, cuando ustedes van a trabajar, ni modo, hay que levantarse, ¿verdad? Aunque, aunque esté uno con sueño y todo, pero hay que levantarse. Entonces pongan ahí las alarmas para que de esa forma ustedes puedan eh, estar presentes en la clase, como les digo, eh, lo que deseo es de que ustedes puedan tener éxito en este curso, ¿verdad? Y para eso necesitamos también su asistencia. ¿Alguna preguntita que tengan? No. ¿No? ¿You sure? Ok. Bueno. All right. So, in that case, we're going to start um, our class. And we're going to do a little review. Um, we're going to re review a little bit of what we saw yesterday because uh, many of you were not here yesterday. Okay. Can you see? Everybody can see this or no? Yes. Yes. Okay. Perfect. Yes. All right. So yesterday we started talking a little bit about food. And with food comes this topic of being able to count and not count certain things. For example, if we are talking about eggs, okay? Let's imagine we're talking about eggs. Um, what what are eggs in Spanish? What huevos. Eggs? Huevos. Exactly. Very good. Okay. So if we're talking about eggs, my question is, can we count eggs? Is it possible to say one egg, two eggs, three eggs, four eggs, five eggs? Can we say that? Some. Yes or no? 
Can we say it? Yes. Yeah. yeah, we can, right? We can say one egg, two eggs, three eggs, four eggs. So that's why we call this a countable noun. Okay? Because we can, yes. we can count it. Okay? So um, if we're only talking about one egg, we're going to say an egg. Okay? Or... Or, for example, a sandwich, because we can count them. If it's plural, we're going to be putting an S, okay? like uh, eggs or sandwiches. Okay? So right there, there's the ES, and here's the S. Okay, any questions about that? No. No questions? No. No? Okay. No. All right, perfect. Now, my my other question is, can we count bread? Is it possible for us to count bread? Can we say one bread, two breads, three breads, four breads? Can we do that? It's liquid. It's liquid. No. No, bread, bread, bread. Bread, what, no. What is bread? Pan. 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 Can we count? Pan can we? Yeah, can we count bread? No. no, we cannot count bread. It's impossible to count bread. We can't say one bread, two breads, three breads, four breads. Y no. el, día, el día de ayer uh, hablamos uh, de que a veces, por ejemplo, uh, al panade, uh, ¿cómo se llama? El, el chico del pan, ¿verdad? Y cuando pasa ahí, eh, le decimos, mire, eh, deme, deme cuatro panes. Entonces, ¿podemos contar el pan o no? No. En realidad, no. Es cierto que a veces decimos deme cuatro panes, pero en realidad eso está mal hablado porque no estamos en realidad pidiendo pan, no estamos pidiendo cuatro de panes, estamos pidiendo cuatro, por ejemplo, bollos de pan o podríamos pedir cuatro, um, ¿cuál es la palabra? Rebanadas de pan. Rebanadas de pan o podríamos pedir cuatro... Ay, se me ha ido la palabra en español. Um, ¿Cómo se le llaman um, al, al pan cuando, cuando, cuando se hornea y antes de hacer rebanadas? Ay, ¿cómo se, se, me, se me ha ido el, el nombre? Bueno, pero, pero podríamos pedir eso, pero no, o cuatro piezas de pan, pero no en sí solamente cuatro panes, ¿ya? Entonces, bread, we cannot count bread, okay? Now, what about lemonade? Can we count lemonade? No. No, right? Because everything that is liquid is not possible to count. Okay, so lemonade, milk, water, uh, coffee, uh, tea, beer, wine, anything like that. It's not possible to count, okay? We cannot count. That is why we call it non-countable nouns, okay? All right, now with non-countable nouns, the verb that we use is in the, in the uh, singular form. So for example, if we were gonna say bread, we can say, we're gonna, we could say, Bread is, okay. for example, bread is delicious, or lemonade. Lemonade is, lemonade is uh, refreshing. Okay, we always use the singular form of the verb. Okay, is that clear? Is that clear for everybody? Do we understand? Yes, it's clear. Yes, it's clear? 
Sorry? Uh, el verbo siempre va a ser is. No, 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 no. 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 You can use, for example, you can say, um, I mean, most of the time, probably you're going to be using a lot of is, uh, a lot of the verb to be, but not necessarily. For example, we can say bread, um, bread, um, Oh, um, makes you gain weight. Bread makes you gain weight. El pan lo hace uno eh, aumentar de peso. Okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Or, for example, lemonade. Uh, lemonade um, re, uh, refreshes you on a hot day. Lemonade you on a hot day. La limonada te, uh, te refresca en un día caliente. So, the thing is uh, that the verb has to be in the singular form. Okay. Uh, okay. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. My mistake. Uh, my mistake, maybe. I can say it refreshes. Sorry. Refreshes. Okay. okay. Any questions? No. No, thank you. No. Okay. All right. Now we also learned that when we are asking a question uh, with countables. Um, and non-countables, we can use the word any, okay? Do we do we need any eggs, okay? Do we need any eggs? Um, or we say, um, do, do we need any bread? So we're using here the word any, okay? And we're using bread. So we can use any for, for questions with countable and non-countable nouns, okay? Any questions about that? No. No? No. Okay. Also, we can use any uh, when we're talking about uh, the negative, okay? So we can say, no, we don't need any. So negative, we don't need any, okay? We don't need any. So this is only used when um, the when the verb is negative, don't. Okay. Or do we need any bread? No, we don't. Okay. No, we don't. Don't. No, we don't need any. 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 Sure. Yes. Any use seen for equation and negative and negative. That is correct. Yes. So over here we're using also any. Um let me show you. Just give me a moment. Okay. So no, we don't need any bread, okay? So we can use it for questions and negative answers. Now, for affirmative answers, for assertive answers, we say, yes, let's get some. And we're to, the some refers to the eggs. 
Or do we need any bread? Yes, let's get some. Some referring to the bread. So some can be used for countables or non-countables. Okay. Okay. So just just um like they say in Spanish, I'm all of the 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 repaso. So we have we use any. We use any for for questions and negative answers. Okay. Negative answers. And uh, we use um, we use also um, some. We use some for affirmative answers. So for positive answers. Okay. So any for questions and negative answers, some we use it for affirmative answers, for positive answers, okay? Now, if you want to be specific, if you want to say um, uh, a specific thing, we say, for example, I'm eating an egg. I'm eating an egg. Or let's get some bread, some bread. So it's like saying, I'm eating an egg, estoy comiendo un huevo. Or let's get some bread, eh, cons eh, consigamos algo de pan. But if we're talking about in general, we're just generalizing, then we say, for example, eggs, eggs are good for you or bread is good for you, okay? So remember what I told you? Um, we, we can use R for eggs because it's plural, but bread, since it's um, non-countable, we're going to be just using the verb to be in the singular form. But it doesn't have to be the verb to be, it can be any verb at all, okay? Do you have any questions? Do you have any questions? Because yes, no, do you have questions? Yes, no, chicos, están ahí? Yes, teacher. Okay. Not. Do you have do you have any questions? Not. No? Okay, so what I'm going to ask you guys to do then is um, we are going to uh, be doing an exercise um, for a, we're going to be doing the, the, the bottom exercise in, in, in pairs. Okay, so this part right here, complete the conversation with some or any. Okay, so all you have to do is put some or any, that's all you have to do, nothing more. So the store doesn't have any potato salad. Well, we have lots of potatoes. Let's make, and then you decide if you're going to put here some or any. I'm going to put you into breakout rooms so that you can work with a partner and do the exercise, okay? Dame un manima. Okay, so, um, All right, I already sent it in the WhatsApp group. You should have it in the group. Yeah. Okay, so I will give you about seven minutes to do this. Okay, let's open the rooms.
escalar. Así como usted se habla por usted. Vaya. Yo solo ahorita dos líneas acabo de hacer porque no he podido conectarme estos días. Vaya, la primera Eni, que ahí te la puso Espérame ya. Que como... no hay una... ¿Qué escribió? Dice, sí. the store does have any potato salad. Will be a lot of potatoes. Let's make some, me imagino yo. No. Let's make some. Espera, me voy a meterme a la plataforma que ya creo que la hice. ¿Qué, mi amor? Mm. Vaya, ya te va a salir. Okay. Oh, okay. Do we have some minutes? No, we need to buy. Dice, onions too. We need some onions too. Two. Oh, don't have one, one any. Mm -hmm. I don't want any onions. I hate I hate onions. Mm -hmm. Then let's get some 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 celery. Celery. Sabe celery qué era? Celery celery. Yo creo que es apio, creo. Yes, celery is ap is apio. Okay, thank you, teacher. You're welcome. No, that one, any. Luego, but let's. Vale. Son apples. Any, any one arriba. No, I don't want any. In my potato salad. Yeah, la otra es son. Son up, up was, up was in it. Teacher, eh, how pronounce mayonnaise? We say mayonnaise. 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 Yes. Mayonnaise. Okay. Thanks. You're welcome. Mayonnaise. 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 Melky terminó. Sí, ahí estamos copiando. Agarrando la estopia porque no había hecho nada. Ah. <ríe> Hoy sí me había atrasado. No le faltaba. Hola. No le faltaba ninguno. ¿Cómo no? Me faltaban dos. Las últimas dos. ¿Cuáles? Ya estuvo. Sí. Ah, va. We finished. You're done. Okay, wonderful. Oh, great. So I'll see you in the main room in a moment.
No, it's some. We need some onions too. Ah, chiste. We need uh -huh. some instead of some. Ah, some seguro onions. que son. Seguro que son porque onions al parecer sí se puede. Aquí en el ejercicio. Hola, Gaby. Gaby. Uh -huh. Sí, es cierto, Gaby. We need some onions too. Dice, oh, I don't want any onions. Hate onions. I hate onions. O sea, odialos. ¿Qué son onions? La cebolla, si no me equivoco. Mm. Yo también por dos ahí entonces. <laughs> Then let's get some celery. No me gusta eso. Eso no, saber qué. Want, I don't want any celery in my potato salad. Celery es como sal, creo. Ah, ay, tenía que llover. Es apio. Ah, apio. Oh. Okay. Apio. Es apio. Ah. But, but let's put some apples. Um, apples in potato salad. That some awful. Apples. Apples, not apples, apples. Apples, verdad? Apples. Apples, apples in potato salad. That sounds awful. ¿Qué es esa Okay, guys, so we're going to be checking the answers right now. So can you see my screen? Yes. Yes? Okay. Yes. Okay, so the store doesn't have any potato salad. Well, we have lots of potatoes. Let's make... Some. Some, very good, let's make some because it's affirmative, right? So let's make some. Okay, do we have? Any. Any, mayonnaise. very good. Do we have any mayonnaise? Mayonnaise, not mayonnaise, mayonnaise. Mayonnaise. Yes, do we have any mayonnaise? No, we need to buy? Any. Any. We need to buy any some. We need to buy some. Mm. Okay. Do you understand why? Why? Because this is a this is an affirmative sentence. Notice. Notice that the verb, the verb is need. Okay, the verb is need. So we, it's not in the negative form. It's not negative. The verb is need. Does that make sense? Do we understand? Yes, teacher. ¿Entendemos por qué? Yes, no, maybe. Tell me, please. Do we understand? Hello. Mm. Oh, so. Okay. The verb, the verb is need. What is need in Spanish? 
Necesitar. Necesitar. Necesitamos. Nosotros necesitamos. Is that, uh -huh. si yo digo, nosotros necesitamos, is that affirmative no, or negative? Afirmativo. Afirmativo. It's affirmative, yeah. Exactly. So because it's affirmative, we use some. Okay. Yeah? Do we yes. understand? Yes, teacher. Okay, good, good, good. All right, let's continue then. Um, Next, we need... Some. Good, some. excellent. Again, some. We need some onions too. Oh, I don't want any. any, any. I don't want any onions. Here, this one is negative. This one is negative because, okay. oh, sorry, um, because we say don't want, don't want. So this is negative. Okay, is that clear for everybody? Yes, yes, teacher. Yeah, okay, good. So I don't want any onions. I hate onions. Um, then let's get some. 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 Good. Let's get some celery. Let's get some celery. Because here, the verb, um, yes. verb is affirmative. Let's get, it's affirmative. Next. I know I don't want. Any. Good, any celery in my potato salad. Why? Because the verb is negative. It's don't want. So I don't want any celery in my potato salad. But let's put some. Let's put some apples some in it. Apple in it. Yeah. Some apples in it. Okay? Let's put so that that affirm that's affirmative. That's why we put some. Apples in potato salad? That sounds awful. Don't want. don't want. Want. What is want? Who is? Who is? What is querer. want? Querer. Is querer. Okay. So want, querer. Don't want? Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. We don't want. Okay. Any questions? Not. Not no. Okay, very good. All right, let's clear. <clears throat> okay, now we're going to, now that we understand a little bit of, of um, using some and any, let's try to figure out if we understand um, using countables and uncountables. Okay, so I'm going to show you a picture here. And I, please tell me if you are able to see my, just give me a moment. Give me a moment. Tell me if you are able to um, see my screen. So just one moment. Trying to make it work here. De momentito, chicos, que estoy tratando de hacer que esto funcione, pero 
está costando un poquito. Ok. Ok. Um, Okay, uh, right now I'm going to present and please tell me if you can see it. Can you see it? Yes. Yes. Okay, all right. So here I have the food pyramid. Can you see the different fruits? We have cream, candy, potato chips, broth, butter, oil. It, that's for the that's like all the the oils the the fat and the, the and the sugars here we have the meat and other pro, uh, proteins we have fish beans chicken nuts beef eggs and in the dairy we have milk yogurt and cheese in the fruits we have bananas apples mangoes strawberries and oranges and in the vegetables we have broccoli carrots lettuce potatoes and tomatoes in the greens we have bread cereal crackers rice noodles and pasta what i want you to do right now is you're going to categorize this vocabulary into this uh, you're going to decide if it's countable or non-countable for example, potatoes. Can we count potatoes? Yes, we can. So we can say it's countable. So we can say one potato, two potatoes, three potatoes, four potatoes. But broccoli, can we count broccoli? No, we cannot say one one broccoli, two broccoli, three broccoli, because broccoli is it's like a vegetable and um, there's like li lots of different parts. So I want you to categorize the vocabulary here into count and non-count. Do we understand? Yes, sir. Yeah? Everybody understands or do you have any questions about this? So it's clear? Yeah? Okay. All right, I'm gonna stop sharing because I'm going to a, be putting you into breakout rooms. So I'm going to um, share this in the WhatsApp group. So here is the table that you are going to be um, using to categorize it. And Hold on, just give me a moment. I'm gonna send you the the pyramid, the food pyramid as well. Okay. All right, I just sent the picture. Everybody has received it? Yes. Yes? Okay. All right. So I'm going to um, recreate the rooms. And I'm opening the rooms right now.
¿Sí va? Sí. Vaya, este sería potatoes, carrots, que sería zanahoria, tomatoes, le, la lechuga no va. No, ya no puede contar. Ana. Ni el brócoli, ¿no? Hello. Igual el eh, quiero ver. Las naranjas. No se cola. Eh, mangos. Mangos. Ajá. X, X. No sé. Pins. Eh, el, el, el fish fish no va mm -mm. igual la carne no se puede contar eh, eh, potato chip ese es como no se puede contar ma. papas fritas las papas fritas no no se puede contar uh -huh. Eh, nut, nut, sí. sí. Nueces. Sí, así va. No va. No, como ahí venden, te venden bolsa. Ajá. Crockett, Crockett es galletas. Ajá, Crockett con galletas saladas, algo así va. We pronounce them crackers. Crackers. Crack Yeah, crackers, correct. Eh, noodles, noodles, eh, macarrones. Mm. No, mm -hmm. no. Es un fideo. ¿Ah? Fideo, ¿verdad? Yes, correct. No yes. es lo mismo. No. Mm. No. Eh, macarrones uh, are pasta. And um, and the the noodles are um, they are like they're Asian, so um, they like you put them in soup, for example. Noodles used in soups. Yeah, exactly. Noodles are used in soup. Mm -hmm. uh, no count, no count, no count is. Uh, yogurt, milk, cheese, butter, cream, oil, candy uh, is uh, count or uh, not count? Yes, sí, puede contar. Ruiz, no, Count. Ruiz, no, no. Noodles, noodles is not count. Mm -hmm.
If only that. Yeah, you guys are finished then? Yes. Yeah. Okay, good. I will see you in the main room in a moment. I'm going to go check the other group out. Este, también habíamos puesto sí, si no me equivoco. No sé si ya lo había. Eh, los no Ajá. Sí, yo sí. Y, y no, creo que son nueces, no sé. Um, ¿O qué son? Pero esas creo que son count. Count. Con count. Uh -huh. Yo sí tengo la duda de lo de los frijoles, que si son con Ajá. pero lo estaba buscando, pero no lo encont no encontré algo así que, que me diera como que una información. Uh -huh. Pero fíjate que sí tiene, tiene lógica, porque no puedes pedir un frijol. Tienes que pedir sí. frijoles. Ajá. Bien raro. Bueno, yo. Okay, guys, so we are going to check your answers, see what you guys have, okay? All right. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to write count. I'm going to put a C next to it, non-count and N, okay? So let's start with cream, cream count. Um, countable or uncountable or non-countable? Non-countable. Non-countable. Very good. We're going to put an N next to it. Okay. Butter. Countable or non-countable? Non-countable. Non-countable. Good. Oil. Countable or non-countable? Non-countable. Good. Okay. Todos pueden participar, chicos. Oil, because it's, it's a liquid, we can't count it. Candy. Sorry, no, potato chips. Let's do potato chips before. Potato chips? No. Not countable. Non countable. Very good. Okay. Candy. Count. Non-countable. Non-countable. Yeah. Okay. Hey, when because. we're talking about candy, candy in general, it's non-countable. If we're talking about a specific candy, then we can count it. But candy in general, we cannot count. Okay. So okay. You, you say, I. For example, I need to buy uh, some some candy, okay? Or I like candy. I like candy, but we don't say I like a candy. We say I like candy. Me gusta el dulce. I like candy. Okay. 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 All right. Let's go on to the next one. Fish. 
Countable or non countable? No countable. Non countable. Very good. And the reason is because all the meats are non countables. Okay. Eggs. Countable or non countable? Countable. 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 Those we can count. We can count eggs. One egg, two eggs, three eggs, etc., etc. Beef. Countable or non countable? Non countable. Non countable. Remember, all the meats are non countable. Nuts. Countable or non countable? Countable. Nuts? Countable. No count non countable. Normally, we don't say, uh, I ate four nuts. Normalmente, vea que no hacemos eso. We don't say, we don't say, um, eh, me comí cuatro nueces. Right? So we don't really count them. Chicken, count or not count? Non -count. Non -count. Chicken is also non count. Remember, everything that is um, a meat is non count. All right, beans, count or non count? Non count. Non count. Um, por ahí escuchando una discusión. Can we count beans? Can we say, um, you know, I, I want, I want, give me 20 beans. It's not possible. But, van, van ustedes a la cafetería y le dicen, mire, eh, deme unos uh, 20, 20 frijoles. <laughs> y se pone la, 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 chica, la, la chica en la cafetería a contar los frijoles. <laughs> no, right? Yes, Jose Ricardo, Teacher, you had a question? Eh, por ejemplo, en algunas veces, cuando usted está, digamos, una dieta balanceada, o sea, el nutricionista le puede decir, ¿cómo hace 10 nueces? Yeah, that's why I said, usually. Usually we don't count nuts. Mm -hmm. Usually, that's not, that's not the normal way of, of accounting. So, um, so in general, we don't nuts are non-countable. Yes, there there could be exceptions. Eh, igual, igual los frijoles, o sea, puede usted contar un frijol, sí se podría contar, pero en realidad no los contamos. O sea, sí usted puede contar un granito de frijol y, y, y decir voy a comer 30 frijoles. Sí, usted puede hacerlo. But it's not it's not usual. Okay. okay the, the, does that make sense, Jose Ricardo? Yes. Yeah? Okay. Okay. So yes, there are exceptions, but normally we do not count them. Okay. Milk. Non-countable. Non-countable because it's a, a liquid. Yeah. Cheese? Not countable. Non countable. We don't count cheese either. Okay. Yogurt. Non countable. Non countable. Non countable. Yes, because yogurt again is like a liquid. So we can't count liquids. Okay. Now let's go to fruit. Bananas. Countable or non countable? Countable. Yeah, very good. This one's countable. So normally we count bananas. Okay. Oranges. Can we count oranges? Countable. They're countable, yes. Strawberries. Can we count strawberries? Countable. Yeah. Um, okay, so this one, when we come to berries, um normally okay so normally berries um well yeah we could we could count uh, strawberries are big enough to do it 
Yeah, I guess we could. Um, yeah. Okay, good. Uh, mangoes. Can we count that? Yeah. Mangoes, we can count mangoes. Good. What about apples? Can we count apples? Yes. yes. Yeah. Good. Okay, broccoli. Can we count broccoli? Non countable. Non countable. Okay. Carrots. Can we count carrots? Can we can we count carrots? Count. <laughs> it's countable. Yeah, carrots are countable. Okay. Um. What about lettuce? Can we count lettuce? Can we count lettuce? No, count. No, we don't count lettuce. Normally, we don't count lettuce. Lettuce is um. We don't say I'm going to add three lettuces. No, we don't do that. Potatoes. Can we count count potatoes? Count. Yeah, count. we can count potatoes, so they're countable. Tomatoes. Tomatoes. Are we are we able to count tomatoes? Count them. Yes, tomatoes are countable. And that's all for vegetables. Okay. All right. Now bread. Can we count bread? Not countable. countable. Yeah, it's not countable. Very good. Cereal. Not countable. Non countable. Very good. Crackers. Countable. No con. Yeah. Can we count crackers? No. No countable. Countable. Para mí son countable. Yeah, these ones are countable. Okay, oh. so so we can count a cracker, right? Okay, so. Um, for example, we can say in a packet, there are three crackers in a packet. Hay tres galletas saladas en un paquete. We can count yes. them. Yeah, it's possible to count okay. them. Okay. <laughs> rice? Yeah, okay. okay. Non-countable. Okay. Non-countable. Yeah, rice is non-countable. Nuevamente, esto es como, como los frijoles, ¿verdad? Eh, uh -huh. Sí, usted puede contar el arroz, si usted quiere puede ponerse a contar el arroz, pero no le recomiendo que lo haga, ¿ok? <risa> <risa> si no, nunca va a empezar a, a, a cocinar la, la cena, ¿ok? So, um, yeah, so it would be non-countable. Noodles, can we count noodles? Non-countable. No, no, Igual, non no se, no se mm -hmm. ponga a, a contarlos. Pasta? Non-countable. No, non-countable. No, okay. No. Any questions? Do you have any questions? No, no, no. Okay. Very good. Okay. Um, excellent. Okay. All right, guys and girls. Um, just a moment. Okay. I'm going to show you a picture here. We're going to be learning about more uh, food vocabulary. Okay, so um, I'm going to show you a picture of um, traditional breakfast in different parts of the world. Okay, do you see my screen? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, so what do you have for breakfast? 
Okay, so in different parts of the world, we have different types of breakfast. So we have, everybody repeat after me, eggs. Yes. Bacon. 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 Yeah. Normally we don't say bacon. Bacon, no, it's bacon. 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 Yeah. Toast with butter. Toast with, with butter. butter. Toast with butter. Toast, Toast with butter. butter. Mm -hmm. Orange juice. Orange, Orange juice. juice. Orange Coffee. juice. Coffee. Coffee. Jam. 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 And jelly. And jelly. jelly. Okay. Do we understand this vocabulary? Yes. Yes? Everything? Yes. What is jam? In Spanish. Tell me in Spanish. What is jam? Jalea. Jalea. Uh -huh. Very good. Exactly. So um, do not confuse it. No es jamón. Okay? Jam no es jamón. Okay? Si, le, si usted dice... I, I, uh, I, me gusta el jam en la pizza. Le va a quedar how, bien rara how, esa pizza. How do you say ham? You say ham. Ham. Yeah. Ham. Eh, ham. Oh, como ham. Mm. Yeah, ham. So this is jam, jam, and this is ham. Acuérdense que la H se pronuncia en inglés. So you say ham and jam. Okay? Jam. Jam no es... Sorry? Jam no es mermelada. Eh, yes, jam. Jam. Yeah, exactly. Jam eh, is jam is more like um, yeah, como marmalade, similar jam marmalade. Mm -hmm. And jelly is is like a uh, jalea. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. Now let's continue here with Japan. Repeat fish. 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 Rice. 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 Soup. 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 Pickles. 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 Green tea. Green, green tea. tea. Green tea. Green tea. Eggs. Green tea. Eggs. 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 Ah, oh, no, pero, 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 chicos, antes que continúe con, con this part, let's talk about this one. Do you have any questions about this vocabulary? Not this one. Pickles. 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 Um, yeah, very good. Pickles. Pickles, pickles are uh, usually things that, um, like, for example, vegetables that you put in um, in vinegar. Usually, you put like cucumbers, small cucumbers, in vinegar. Yeah, that's that. Those are pickles. Okay, so pickles. Um, vegetables, um, put, um, in vinegar. Okay. Vegetal in vinegar. Huh? Yeah, so, yeah, it's usually, it's like a cucumber. It's, it's usually a cucumber. Okay. 
Okay. Yanderson cucumber? No. Curcuma. No. Cucumber. Nobody knows cucumber? Nobody knows? Cucumber. Híjole, a mí se me olvidó el nombre español, espera un momentito. ¿Ah? Pepinillos. Ok, but cucumbers, cucumbers. What are cucumbers? Pepino. Pepino, very good, pepino. So cucumber, so pepinos, right? So uh, anything that is pickled uh, is uh, any vegetable that we put in vinegar is pickled. But specifically pickles refers to cucumbers that small cucumbers that we put in vinegar. And in Spanish, we call them? Pepinillos. Pepinillos, exactly. Okay, so cucumber is pepino. When you put it in, when you put small cucumbers in vinegar, they become pickles or pepinillos. Okay. Okay? Yes. All right. Okay. Excellent. Okay. All right. Um, let's continue. Eggs. 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 Beans. 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 Tortillas. 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 Fresh fruit. Fresh fruit. Fresh fruit. Fresh fruit. Fresh fruit. Sweet bread. Sweet bread. Bread. Sweet bread. bread. Sweet bread. Sweet bread. Coffee with milk. Coffee, Coffee with milk. Okay. Any questions? Do you have any questions? No. No. no? Are you sure? No. no. You sure there is no questions? This. Sweet bread, sweet bread and dulce. Okay, well, just give me a moment. Jose Ricardo, you had a question? Uh, beans. Beans? beans. Uh -huh. Frijol. beans. Frijoles. Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay. Carla, you had another question? Um, sweet bread is, um, is par dulce. Yeah, mm -hmm. exactly. Okay. Okay. Anything else? Okay. All right. Now, what about your breakfast? What do you have for breakfast? I want you to think about what do you have for breakfast? What do you have for lunch? And what do you have for dinner? Okay, for breakfast, I'll write, it, I'll write it down here. What do you have for breakfast? What do you have for lunch? And what do you have for dinner? Okay. So I want you to answer this question. What do you have for breakfast? What do you have for lunch? What do you have for dinner? You, you have all of the information, all of the vocabulary that you're gonna need. Um, with all of the vocabulary that we've seen, you, you should be able to, um, to talk about uh, the foods that you eat, okay? Maybe the only thing that, um, that we haven't talked about is plantain. And I think you probably are going to need that vocabulary. Plantain. You know plantain? Plantain? What is plantain? Anybody know? 
No, teacher. Berenjena. No. Eggplant is berenjena. Uh -huh. It's plant. Yeah, eggplant is berenjena. But plantain? Anybody have an idea what is plantain? No. ¿Una idea? Miren, miren, miren la, la palabra. Parece. Algo que van a, le diga, van a necesitarlo porque de seguro lo comen. Something very important in the Salvadoran diet. Plátano. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. Okay, so uh, we're going to put you into breakout rooms and you're going to talk about what do you eat for breakfast, what do you eat for lunch, what do you eat for dinner. Okay? Do we understand what to do? You understand? It's clear? Yes, it's clear. Yes? Do you have any questions before we start? No? Okay. All right. In that case, we're going to uh, put you into breakout rooms and you're going to talk about this. Here we go. I'm opening the rooms. Sir. Okay. Pues, si quiere, hagámoslo cada uno y después lo compartimos. Ok, me parece. Ahí está. Hay, hay breakfast, eh, eggs. Bread, bananas, and Do you eat bananas? No ah? Do you eat bananas for breakfast? Yes. So, come come with guineos and the same? Yes. Yeah. Oh, okay. And y avena. Okay, good, good. Okay, uh, make sure that you say I have, I have, or for breakfast I have, let's say for breakfast, or for lunch, or for dinner, or, you know, so you could say for lunch, for dinner, I have, and then you say, you say the, the food. Okay, so I wrote it in the chat. Okay, for breakfast, for lunch, for dinner, I have. Oops, oh, perdón. Perdón, chicos. Se me, se, me, se me borró el I. Oh, no sé, ahí está, ¿verdad? Ahí está. I have. Yeah. Okay. Okay, any questions? Ricardo, what do you have for breakfast? Uh, I have eggs, uh, milk, bananas, and avena. Oat. Oat. Mm -hmm. Is very good. Uh, William, what do you have for breakfast? I have, I have for breakfast else uh, bread uh, sweet bread uh, Carla, what do you have for breakfast? I have sandwiches or sandwich, coffee, um, oat, 
tortillas or some fruit. That's great. Only that. Um, William, what do you have for uh, lunch? Um, I have for a um, sandwich and um, soda. Um, uh, Ricardo, what do you have for lunch? Uh, I have for lunch a uh, fish and, and potatoes and broccoli and and apples okay and you what do you have for for dinner for lunch i have for lunch rice fish salad pasta water vegetables 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 or Meat or chicken or with cream and beet with coffee. Okay. Ah, pues solo ese sería entonces, pero solo no, no recuerdo cómo se pronunciaba. Creo que ahí está la teacher. ¿Cómo se pronunciaba plátano? Can you ask me in English? How do you say Plátano in English. You said plantain. Plantain. Mm -hmm. Plantain. Plantain. Y este, yo busqué para decir chile jalapeño y jalapeño pepper parece que decía. No sé yeah. Sí. Yeah. yeah, correct. Ok. Ah, pues entonces ya terminamos la tarea. You're, fi you're finished. You talked about breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Yes, teacher. Excellent. Okay. I'm going to return you to the main room in a moment. Okay. Okay, guys, are you finished? Yeah, we talked about all that. Okay, good. All right, um, please tell me if you can um, just a moment. Creo que perdí, me, se, me, se me perdió alguien. Sí, creo que perdimos a alguien. Ricardo, falta. Uh -huh, sí. También. Ok, bueno, ni modo. Ok, quizás se, se unen después. Okay, we're going to um, Okay, please tell me if you can see my screen. Yes, it's sure. Okay. So what we're seeing right now is 
something that we call frequency frequency adverbs or adverbs of frequency okay it's the same thing frequency adverbs or adverbs of frequency these um, are adverbs that tell us how often um, or how frequent we do an activity, okay? So if you want, you can, um, you know, uh, turn off your microphone because you're not gonna need it right now. So let's turn off all the microphones, okay? All right, so I'm going to expl explain, oh, sorry, it should say frequency, not put in frequency. Sorry, frequency, sorry about that. Anne. So frequency adverbs. Now, um, so we use uh, different frequency adverbs. For example, when something is 100%, okay, when something is 100%, we use the word always. And to give you an example here, we have um, everyone all, always speaks well of Mark. Everyone always speaks well of Mark. So we have here the word always. Usually, usually is when it's like 90% of the time for example, she usually fed her cat cheap cat food. So it means 90% of the time she uh, fed her cat cheap cat food. It's maybe sometime, it may be 10% of the time it was expensive food or um, something good, but most of the time, 90% of the time, it was cheap food, cat food. When it's 8%, you can say generally. I, a sentence, sorry, it, it could say be generally or normally. But it's both the same thing. Normally or generally has a subject and a verb. So 80% of the time, all the sentences it have a subject and a verb. So we can say normally or also possible to say generally. It's pretty much the same idea. Okay, so I'll put here normally. All right. Do you have any questions? Okay, all right, let's continue. So then if you have 70% of the time, we say often, okay? 70% of the time is often. Now, be careful with this word, because, or not be careful, but just pay attention to this word because this word can be pronounced in two different ways. We can say often or often often okay the two forms are valid now americans usually say often and british prefer often canadians we prefer often but the two forms are valid okay so i usually uh, used to often take walks along that road. So right here we have often, okay? When it's like 50% of the time, we say sometimes. Married people sometimes wish they were single, sometimes. It's like 50% of the time. And single people sometimes wish they were married. So it's 50-50. <laughs> uh, 
Okay. When it's like 30% of the time, you say occasionally. So I occasionally eat meat. I occasionally eat meat. Okay, so maybe the person is more like more vegetarian, not completely vegetarian, but more vegetarian. So I occasionally eat meat. Then we have 50% of the time we say seldom. My father seldom watches TV at night. So it means that the person doesn't do it very often. Okay. It's fair. And when it's 5% of the time, we can say <clears throat> rarely. And for example, he rarely makes a mistake. <laughs> and if it's 0% of the time, so we say never. Okay? For example, I never forget a face. I never forget a face, it means I always remember a face. Now, something else that I want you to, to pay attention to is that we put where we put the verb. So we have everyone always speaks well of Mark. She usually fed her cat chew food. A sentence you know, generally or normally has a subject and a verb. I often take walks along the road. Married people sometimes wish they were single. I occasionally eat meat. My father watches TV at night. Seldom watches TV at night, sorry. Um, he rarely makes a mistake. I never forget a face. So notice that first we put the frequency adverb and then the verb. Okay? Do we understand? Sure. Mm -hmm. Yes. In the platform and uh, frequency adverbs, uh, uh, only people uh, three three adverbs uh, always, uh, sometimes, and never. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, I'm showing you more, but you don't need to know all of them for it to do the platform. But I'm showing you more. Okay. Okay. Okay, any questions? I have a question, teacher. Uh -huh. What is the difference in seldom, I don't know, what do you say? Seldom or rarely? So, seldom is like 15%, rarely 5%. So, a seldom is more, more time. Okay. But, pero significa lo mismo, eso quería preguntar. Mm, not exactly, not exactly. Like I said, seldom is more than rarely. So, okay. Diga, digamos, por decirlo, por decirle algo, eh, hay 12 meses en el, en el año. Si usted hace algo eh, una vez, oh, un, un, ¿cómo se llama? Eh, un mes en el año sería oh, rarely uh -huh. y si lo hace digamos dos veces sería como más seldom ah ok ok, okay. un poquito más ok thank you teacher uh -huh. ok any other yeah. questions uh -huh. yes uh, hardly ever appear in the um, en el manual Aparece. Uh -huh. it, it, it's, it's, the, uh, it's the same rarely. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So we hardly ever is it's the same idea as rarely. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Like you can have here. Hardly ever. Actually, yeah. 
actually hardly ever maybe maybe it's more like seldom i would say it's more like seldom yeah but it's very similar it's between these two that's the important thing okay like when you say in spanish casi nunca okay any other questions, guys? When we translate, usually in and generally appear eh, generalmente para los dos. Pero no sé si es correcto. Usually it's more like usualmente. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Okay. You're welcome. Okay, so I'm going to clear, I'm going to stop sharing and I'm going to um, send you the picture in the WhatsApp group. Okay. Um, <clears throat> okay, just give me a moment. Okay, so what I'm going to ask you to do <clears throat> is uh, we're going to be doing two exercises here. I'm going to send you the exercises in the WhatsApp um, group as well. Okay, and I will show it to you in the, uh, on the screen as well. Perdón, chicos, que no sé por qué el, el cursor se me, se me esconde y no sé dónde está la pantalla. ¿Dónde estoy en la pantalla? Pues sí, ya la vi. <clears throat> okay. So, do you see this activity? Yes. So it says, put the adverbs in the correct place. Okay, so all you have to do is put the adverbs that are in parentheses in the correct place. And then after this, we're gonna unscramble the sentences. So you have to put, for example, the, the words in the correct order. For example, here it says, I have breakfast on never weekends. So you say, I never have breakfast on weekends. You put them in the correct order, okay? So I'm sending you that also in the WhatsApp group. Okay, and I'm gonna put you back into the breakout rooms so that you can practice. Okay, here we go. Vamos a poner la que aplique. Ok. Si es actual y si es general de la imagen que nos mandó. Dos imágenes. Ah, ok. Ah, okay. Uh -huh. ah, ok. 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 What do you have? La primera es I have breakfast on never weekend. Ajá, y ahí está un ejemplo. I never have breakfast on weekend. I never. ¿Cuál es el, el ejemplo? Perdón. En la, en la imagen que nos mandó está a la par. Ah, 
forget. La prim en la primera aparece va. What do you usually have for breakfast? Que ese sería como el ejemplo. No, ¿Dónde va ubicado? Ajá. Entonces, el otro sería. sería... ¿Ah? Well, I, I often, I have often coffee. Ajá. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Well, I have often coffee, cereal, and juice. Sí. I, yes, I often have coffee. No, I have often. Oh, ah, okay. I have often. Uh, I have often coffee, mm -hmm. cereal, and juice. Well, I, do, you, do, do you, you ever eat breakfast at do work? You ever breakfast? Do you ever eat breakfast at work? Tu siempre tomas. Tú siempre desayunas en el trabajo. Mm -hmm. I have some time breakfast at my desk. I have some time breakfast at my desk. Yo, yo, yo en el video decía de que sometimes es la única palabra que también se puede utilizar al principio de la oración. Ajá. O sea que Ajá, puede decir... Cierto. Sometimes I have breakfast, I have breakfast. At, my, at my desk. De hecho, en el ejercicio, así se tiene que poner sometimes. Uh -huh. Solo sometimes, sometimes se puede hacer eso. Sí, de, de, ah, al principio. Solo esa palabra es la única que se puede poner al principio de la oración. Sometimes I have breakfast at my desk. El otro día, entonces, do you usually eat rice for breakfast? Yes. You usually. Do you usually? No, I no. Hardly ever I have wheat. No, I have hardly ever rice. Mm No, creo que ahí en la vez no, I hardly, I hardly ever rice. Hardly. No, I hardly ever have rice. Porque o sea que solo, no, estaba I, como respondiendo. Sí, porque decía, eh, el sujeto, de ahí el adverbio, de ahí el verbo, y ahí es el complemento. Entonces, pienso de que en la segunda también sería I often have coffee, cereal, and juice. I often have. Ajá, en la segunda. Sí, así es. Ajá. El adverbio va antes. Uh -huh. Solo la pregunta va después del do you o are o lo que sea. Los... ¿Qué? ¿Sí? 
O sea que siempre después del sujeto. Pero cuando es la respuesta. Ajá. Ajá. Vaya, ese ya estuvo. ¿va? Hagamos la otra. Okay, I hardly ever eat a snake at work. Okay, class, so we're going to be checking. Can you see my screen? Yes. Okay, perfect. All right, so let's start. Um, put the, the adverb in the correct place, then practice with the partner. So the first one is, what do you usually have for breakfast? So you put the word usually in before have here. Well, I have coffee, cereal, and juice. Where would you put often? Where do you put often? I often have coffee, cereal, and juice. Good. All right. So we would put it right here in this part right here. Okay. So you say, I often. Coffee. I often have coffee, oh. cereal, and juice. That's right. Okay. Next. Do you eat breakfast at work? Do you ever? Do you, Do you ever eat? Very good. So you're going to put it here. Okay. And you're going to put ever. Do you ever eat? Okay. Do you ever eat breakfast at work? I have breakfast at my desk. I sometimes I have breakfast. I I sometimes have sometimes. breakfast. Sometimes, breakfast sometimes. At, sometimes at I have breakfast. breakfast. Sometimes okay. I have breakfast at my day at my desk. Okay. Sometimes I so you say I so I sometimes have breakfast at my desk. That's now. Yeah, at my desk, desk, okay? So. Teacher. So, mm -hmm. In the platform, uh, the advert sometimes uh, usual and al principio. Se puede poner al principio. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna explain right now. So normally, normally, uh, valga la, redund val valga y la, la redundancia y de los, de los verbos, normally, um, or generally speaking, we use the adverbs of frequency before the, the, the verb. However, the word sometimes is an exception. And the exception is that you can, if you want, not necessary, but if you want, you can put the word sometimes at the beginning. Okay, so it's possible to put it here. Okay, that is possible. Um, normally, though, we would just put it here. I sometimes have breakfast at my, my desk. Okay? Okay. 
Okay. All right. Good. Let's continue. Do you eat rice for breakfast? Do you usually? Usually. Mm -hmm. Do you eat rice for breakfast? Good. Do you usually eat rice for breakfast? So we put usually here. Okay. Do you usually? No, I have rice. Hardly ever. I hardly ever. Hardly ever. We put it right here. Okay. Hardly ever. Hardly ever. Hardly, hardly. I hardly ever have rice. Okay. All right. Next one, part, part B, we're going to unscramble. So, in that first one is I have, I never have breakfast on weekends. Number two, I hardly ever eat snacks at work. I hardly ever eat, eat snacks. snacks. At work. Good. Okay. Number three. I sometimes eat pasta Good. for dinner. Good. I sometimes eat pasta for dinner. Okay. I sometimes eat pasta for dinner. Or like we just said, we just said right now, we can put sometimes at the beginning. And so you can say sometimes I eat piece, past, sorry, pasta, not paste, past, pasta for dinner. Okay. So you can, you, you can decide where you want to put it. So you can say I sometimes, or you can say sometimes I. Mm -hmm. Okay. Teacher, I have a question, but that is only for sometimes, for the word sometimes. Yeah, sometimes is an exception. Okay, okay so that's the only one. Okay. All right, and number four. I often have dinner with my family. I often have dinner. I often have dinner with my family. Okay, and there you go. That's our answers. Okay. Any questions? Do you have, sorry, any questions, sorry? No. 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 Okay, all right, we're gonna stop sharing then. And in that case, we're going to um, take attendance because uh, we have come to the end of our class. Se pasó super rápido, pero yes, we've come to the end of our class. Okay, so uh, we are going to um, listen for your name. Okay, just give me a moment. Okay. All right, so here we go. Um and Robert. Okay, Brenda Melissa Linares. Present teacher. Excellent. Uh, Flor Maria Noyola. Um, okay. Uh, Jose Ricardo Teresón. Present. Present. Verdad que Flor nunca estuvo, verdad? Flor Maria no, nunca estuvo. Sí, teacher. Sí ha estado. Sí, sí estuvo. Sí. Okay. Ah, hoy, 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 este día, no, hoy, este día, no, hoy, este este día, no, 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 sí, no, 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 no,
Okay. Um, ok, pero, perdón chicos, es que se me configuró esto acá. Ok, so, Ricardo, José Ricardo Teresón. Present teacher. Uh, Josué Ernesto Campos. Josué Ernesto Campos. Carla Sofía Nieto. Present. Wonderful. Loida Eunice López. Uh, Lucas David Hernández. Luis Eduardo Castaneda. Lucas. Lucas estuvo acá. No. Sí. Al principio, sí, ¿verdad? Pero dijo que no estaba en su casa. Uh -huh. Ok. Eh, Luis Eduardo Castaneda, no. Marcela del Carmen Pozo. Marco Antonio Torres. María Violeta Cañada. Mario Edgardo Contreras. Melqui Adonías Rivas. Present. Eh, great. Uh, Nuria Marilu Monroy. Ricardo Antonio Molina. Santa María Chávez. William Ernesto Orellana. Present. Eh, Jens Elisette Abrego. Y eh, Senia Patricia Pérez. Y Jonathan Quiermo Segueda. Ok. Bueno, chicos, entonces eso sería todo por hoy. Um, acuérdense que tenemos un, una, una última clase que sería el próximo. Thursday. Very good. Próximo jueves. Para que no se me, no se me um, pierdan, es el 22. Ok. Entonces, uh, por favor, pongan alarma para que no nos durmamos y estemos en clase, es la última. Y eh, vamos a tocar entonces el último, la última unidad. Entonces necesitamos que estén aquí para que podamos explicar bien y así puedan terminar en la plataforma. Ahora, ustedes necesitan haber tenido Van a, creo que van a revisar la plataforma la próxima semana. No sé exactamente qué día, pero pueden ir avanzando. Eh, se les va a revisar por lo menos hasta la unidad 4. Y a las 5 eh, sería para, para la última clase. Entonces, ahora ustedes pueden ir avanzando. Entonces, pueden hacer la, la número 5 si quieren. ¿Ok? Pueden ir empezando a hacerlo. A lo, como les, digo al principio, les dije al principio, lo bueno es que la plataforma les da la oportunidad para que lo hagan cuantas veces ustedes quieran. ¿Ok? ¿Alguna preguntita que tengan? Teacher, entonces mañana queda nula la, la clase. Uh, Esa fue mi pregunta temprano. Porque hoy que dijeron que hasta el próximo jueves y mañana todavía estamos de descanso. Sí, pero en el calendario Ajá. así están las clases. En el calendario que nos mandaron en el enlace aparece nada más la clase hasta la, hasta la última, hasta el jueves de la siguiente semana. Correcto. Eh, según el calendario que te, de clases, de clases, no, no de días libres, tenemos, teníamos las, uh, las clases el 30 y 31 de mayo, luego el 1, el 7, el 8, el 14 que fue ayer y hoy 15, son 7 clases y el 22, son 8 porque son solamente 8 clases. Ok. Entonces tenemos la Mañana última. La, bueno, ajá, o sea... Ha sido mejor mañana que la de ayer. Así que um, sí, vamos a, a vernos hasta el 22. ¿Ok? ¿Questions? Okay. No question. Thank you. Ok, va well, pues. Cuídense entonces and see you next, next uh, Thursday. ¿Ok? Bye, bye. 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 bye.